Hey everybody, today is April 24th and uh, here is update number 8. Today is going to be a very tragic update because uh, the past week we had weather drop down to the 30s and it killed a few of my plants. So I'll go around and show you what they look like now. Uh, some of them will recover but there's a few that did not make it. So it's, it's, not, a, it's not a very good update today. Anyway, let me show you what I have going on. Here is my seven pot bubblegum large and the top froze off just like this here because it was really, really cold this past few weeks. And I think that should be the last of the frost this year. I rushed these and left, put them outside too early because the weather was so great, but I guess that was a mistake. Good thing is that I have a, a few other good backups that are still indoor. Anyway bubblegum seven pot right there and the top is frozen off so I just pinched those off I think they will recover so if the weather warms up in the next few weeks and stay consistently warm I'll be fine and these guys will come back and here's the Jay's peach ghost this guy was doing really well it uh, froze off uh, only the bottom still remain so I think he's still gonna be okay here's my two MOA scotch bonnet that I put out here recently Strangely, these guys can withstand colder temperature than these. As you can see, they, they're looking fine. And this is the CPR. It's doing okay. Ahi pineapple. Um, got a few yellow leaves, but it's, it's doing well. And wasn't affected too much by the cold weather. And there's some buds there. I may pull those off and allow it to grow some more. Here's my Butch Tea BTR. And the top kind of like froze off so I'm, I'm gonna pinch those off it's basically like I'm gonna just give it a topping so it can start over uh, here's a, another Jay's peach ghost not gonna make it I don't think because it's probably dead there so I'm just gonna pull that out I'm gonna use this bucket for something else here's a MA Vortex the top basically froze off I just pinched it off the bottom still look to be okay maybe if I leave it here he'll will recover we'll see and that's the other MA Vortex same thing pull the top off it's froze off chocolate bootla looking very bad here but that's okay the branches are thick so I'm sure this guy will come back just fine my two sugar rust these guys were doing awesome before the cold weather came through but um, I'm gonna leave it there and see Jay's Red Ghost looking very bad here and the two Carolina Reaper um, I think it may still make it there it is right there dude looking good from the bottom this one as well and Jay's Red Ghost the other one did fine and then I have my White Devil's Tail oh man one of it is dead basically I don't know I mean maybe I can replant these and the bottom still look good so I might put this back. This one's okay. The Jamaican Scotch Bonnet, the red one, was doing really well. Look what happened. Not doing too great right now. And this is the... I think this is another bubblegum. Uh, the top froze off, so I pulled those off. Let me show you something really special. This is my... Uh, Tatsoi. I have a ton of seeds. I'm gonna give away these seeds this summer like I did last year. Okay, I have a few more so let me show that to you. Here is my chocolate scotch bonnet. It was doing really bad but it's starting to make good recovery progress and the weather didn't affect it too much. And there's the fruit that I crossed and that took on Here's another one that took, and that one also took on. So I'm really excited about those crosses. He's doing okay. And let me show you the a few overwinter plants that I have. Okay, here are a few of the uh, overwinter plants. Orange ricotta, um, a little bit damaged. So I'm just gonna pinch those off, and the bottom will recover just fine. This is the Bahamian goat from last year. A uh, little bit damaged right there from the cold weather, but it leaped, it seems to be okay. Butch T BTR, not too bad. Uh, so the top is damaged, so I pull those off. 
and then my pecan this pecan is probably one of the best plants to grow in cooler weather because nothing will affect this guy and then here's the red ghost a little bit of a shoot there that's coming back and then I have my scotch bonnet that I was entering in the contest man this guy is not looking good at all so there's no hope for this champion anymore but we shall see let's see if he's, he's gonna make a big comeback and do something I put another one there this is a smaller one and because I have so much space and this guy's not doing anything I threw a bunch of spinach in there so that's why they're all over the place and then I have one more plant this is the last one from last year this is the ahi habanero it's just started to come back and there's some flowers already so this guy can stay withstand really cold temperature I mean it lived out, out here all year last year all season last year and it's still alive today and looking good and then I'm going to do one more thing today here is my reaper that I propagated and also two Brazilian ghosts that I put into the same container. I'm just running out of space indoors so I'm going to take these guy outside and put it into one of the bucket that the plant just died and we'll see how he does. This guy's looking good, lots and lots of flowers but it's not producing anything yet so he'll go outside for now then I'll keep you guys updated every two weeks but anyway um, as you can see the update is terrible but that's fine I know these guys are gonna come back so in a few weeks or maybe months they will come back and you see the difference again I mean last year I had a bunch of other setback as well but then at the end of the season they all came back and produced just fine okay I forgot to cover one more thing so in the spring the weather start to get warmer and the condition are still kind of wet and then sometimes you get occasional rain here and there so this is like sort of like the perfect time where slugs would come out and eat your plants and uh, recently I have a slug problem it start coming in here chewing all my plants up just like that here at the, the corner there's edges are missing and then in the middle they have holes and if you come out here at night you can probably catch some of those guys in the work so what I did was, uh, uh, and I did this last year as well, I placed some coffee ground around here. So let me show you a video of what I did to try to deter the slugs from coming through here. So lately I have been having slugs problem. They come along and just start chewing my plant and they will look like these. So what I'm trying to treat these guys with is coffee ground. I used the same method last year and it worked. So I'm going to do that again. To treat these you see those bitten leaves like this they're usually snails or slugs they just climb up and just eat away some of the leaves and then uh, there's some right here as well so a few of my plants are having this issue there it is right there they're just chewing on the corner of my leaves so what I'm doing here is taking a spoon of coffee and I just put it around the base of the plant all around it and uh, these are supposedly uh, toxic for the slugs okay so uh, a bunch of my plants outdoor have been damaged but I still have some backup indoor that I may be able to transfer outside if some of those didn't make it let me go around and show you what I have these uh, these here and this here is my own cross I'm gonna show you guys that in the future when I get fruits for these these two are chocolate ghost tom peach ghost and this one here is a butch tea btr it's starting to fruit already but i'm keep pulling off the buds and on top of this this is what i've done to this plant i grafted a jamaican scotch bonnet yellow on top and the bottom is btr so it, it healed up really well as you can see there and Hopefully it would, it'll start to grow. And then back here I have two MA Vortex and another back there is another two MA Vortex. So I have a total of four here. Those two back there are my Bahamian Goats. And this one here is my Bleeding Borg 9. And my prize plant. This is a Trinidad Scorpion Cardi on the bottom. 
that I grafted a bleeding Borg 9 onto. It's it's uh, it healed up nicely right there. And then the top is starting to grow little shoots. So eventually I'll have Trinidad Scorpion Cardi at the bottom producing fruits of a different color and then the bleeding Borg 9 in the top producing a different color. I haven't brought this guy outside yet because I'm still working on it but I have transferred it into a smart pot so this is where it will be staying for a while. In the middle here I have my Franken tree that I've, sh I've made many videos on and this tree has been here for probably over a year and a half now. It's a chocolate scotch bonnet but I grafted so many different other things onto it like this one here is a red scotch bonnet this one here is a Brazilian ghost this here is a chocolate bootla that graph over there is a white seven pot this one here is a another Brazilian ghost and this here is a white devil's tail this here I just grafted on is the Trinidad Scorpion Cardi so it has about eight or nine grafts I think onto this plant and the reason it looks so bare is because I've been testing with these recently and I chopped a bunch of leaves left to try to promote the the grafts to grow along with the real plant but yeah that's what it looks like it's, it's pretty crazy here is my MOA scotch bonnet that has been producing all season got a ton of fruits for these and every week it keep pushing out more and more fruit so I have to cut it down because it was taking up so so much space so I see I, I trimmed this area to try to clear it off and I took a bunch of the fruit and flowers off but it's still putting out more and more and more so that's pretty much all for this update and the outdoor is not looking so good but the indoor is still looking the same so I hope you guys like the video if you have any questions or comments please leave it below and thank you for watching